What's going on, good people? I haven't made a video in a while. I've been quite creatively suppressed. I've just got a new dog. His name's Kipper. But I'm now in London, which most of you know. I've got a studio space in Deptford. I basically want to I wanna make some posters. So I'm planning on doing four posters. They're all going to be A2 size. My last project I did on Instagram where I sold charcoal sketches with screen printed type. That went down really well, I've still got a few of them left. But they were A1 size, so they were massive. I'm start slightly scaling it down a little bit doing A2. These are all gonna be screen printed, they're gonna be black and white, and they're gonna look. Come here. Good boy. Look at this boy. But yeah, four posters. Let's go screen print. Come on, boy. This is my studio space. Basically, I've been wanting to get my own space for ages. I've had this space for about three or four months, but I haven't been doing anything creative, really, apart from those posters that I put out on my Insta. So the whole of lockdown, I've been watching a lot more YouTube, and I love the idea of YouTube because you can literally direct your own videos, you can edit it however you want, and you can also get paid for it if you get a lot of views. But, I'm not thinking about the payment at the moment. I'm just thinking about being creative and making some movies. So that's what I'm gonna do. I was a bit skeptical about making videos. I spoke to Millie about it and she was just like, why don't you just do it, make it, and stop chatting about it, and stop chatting about all these YouTubers. Just make some videos. So, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, this is my little space. Sharing with someone here, someone over there. Two in there, loomed. A few shelves of pens, pencils, blue tag, inks, whatever, spray paint, which is gonna be my next project, which I'm gonna be doing on clothing and some screen print with spray paint, which is gonna be, no idea what that's gonna turn out to look like, but. Inks for screen printing, water base. That was mixed ages ago, tape, squeegees. Underneath we've got my old DIY press that I made at home, which is actually on my other videos. So here we've got more screens. These are all different mesh counts, so this is for fabric rather than paper. So what I'm going to be printing is, I've made these designs already. I've been playing a lot in my sketchbook and on Illustrator with type. This I did a while ago. Theo and Benny, some experimental stuff that actually came from my sketchbook. And same here. That is pretty familiar with the other posters I've done. I've also got one more which fell off, but... Kipper, little illustration I did. And my favorite, fun, OK Hass Grotesque. These designs are going on paper, so I've got to use a different screen, different mesh. So I've had to borrow one from the studio space that I'm working at, and I've accidentally borrowed a massive one. Right now, I'm gonna get my screen, I'm gonna put some emulsion on it, I'm gonna stick it in the drying cupboard. So let's do that. The emulsion's dry on my screen. I'm now gonna stick it in the in the exposing unit. I genuinely have no idea how to use it, so I'm going to Google it. First design I'm gonna do is the Kipper dog one. All right, so I figured it out. One minute 25 I'm exposing it for. It's a big screen. No one really cares about this bit, but I get to use a jet wash. Turn jet wash on. That's my new station. Much better upgrade compared to the one at home. Ah, it's hot. This is what we're going with. Time to expose. I genuinely haven't done this in so long, so I kind of don't know what I'm doing.
this. It's been sitting on that chair for one week. Somehow it claps. I think it's a cheap knockoff. So, this is the issue. I've only got one screen to do these posters and I've got four designs. I'm gonna have to go through each design on its own rather than printing all at once, which is how you normally do it. Time efficiency and all that. So, these are gonna take a little longer than, than expected, but hopefully they'll turn out good. I don't know if they're gonna turn out good, but they will all be for sale, which I'll probably link or do something at the end of the video. The next step is the print. I'm gonna do this tomorrow because I wanna go see Millie and Kipper. I'm gonna stay here and screen print. I thought you were gonna be at home, but if you're out, then I'm gonna just do some printing, okay? Yeah, when do you think you'll be back? That's a lie. Mill's still out, so I'm gonna print. I'm gonna make a quick coffee because I am tired. All right, this screen should be dry now. So the key to screen printing is getting everything ready before you start. Ink, tape, spatula, coffee, squeegee on a little temporary piece of paper, which is gonna get all the ink over. I've taped up my frame. I put some paper here so the ink doesn't go through that gap. Also, I've got my paper here. These are two just tester sheet scrap paper. I am using Lambeth cartridge and it's like 130 GSM, I'm pretty sure. It's thin enough to roll up into the tubes, but it's got this really nice grain. It's really nice paper. It's slightly creamy rather than true white, which I kind of like. Um, and then all these prints are gonna be black. I love black and white just because you're looking only at the graphic, the subject, rather than all the colors and everything. It's kind of my thing at the moment. And it just goes with everything. You can hang these posters up anywhere. the last hour trying to figure this I basically should have put some registration marks on my graphics and then I can line it all up it's taken me ages but I'm having a bit of issue with like bleed what I've done is I've had to wash my wash it I'm now gonna stick it in the drying cupboard um, and I'm just gonna come back tomorrow because I'm knackered I'm tired I want to go to bed yeah so let's try this tomorrow Day two of printing, Kip of the dog poster. Let's do it. I found this in my bag, which is paper acrylic, black acrylic. This is Speedball, so this is a different one to the one I was using yesterday. I'm gonna test this out and see how good this is. Hopefully it won't dry on the screen. Let's give it a go. sweating so much um, but I finally figured it all out it was bleeding loads at the bottom but that's because I didn't leave enough room um, for the ink to sit so it just soaked through and it was coming out kind of let me find an example the bottom like this you can see on the D and the bottom of the G so I've done 20 of these kipper posters I think I'm gonna do 20 of each design um, and we'll see how that goes I've now got to clean all of this up before it dries to the screen but we're gonna do the rest of the posters another day because I need to go back. I'm driving back to the Cotswolds and I need to pack. What's going on? It's been three weeks since I last recorded. At the beautiful power of editing, it's been two seconds. A lot's changed. I've got brown hair now, I had a haircut. Uh, I've got Invisalign. If you can't tell, 
invisible. I've also got a slight lift. But yeah, a lot's changed. Um, I It's like autumn now. I'm heading to the studio now to do the last poster. I did two posters or one poster off camera, but I'll show you them all at the end of this video. So Bene Culture, um, they're like a clothing brand slash creative platform. Their headquarters is in Birmingham. They got a lovely shop there, which these posters are actually gonna go up for sale in. I recommend going to check them out because they're a wicked brand, wicked people, wicked clothing, um, and now some wicked posters. Great culture, great community. Um, they do live events, music, food, art, everything. Food? I don't know about food. But I love their t-shirts. So yeah, Bene Culture, go check them out. Right, so I've finally finished all the posters. I've just done the last batch, which is these ones. These ones are a little bit different. Same size, but different paper, just because the thickness of the ink makes the paper kind of crease a little bit. So I needed to use thicker paper. I've decided to use, it's called Heritage White. Um, it's 215 GSM. My favorite poster so far just because the lines are so crisp and the ink has just come out perfectly. I've just rolled up one of all four of the posters, stuck them in here. I'm gonna take them home, I'm gonna photograph them nicely. But yeah, let's go home now. It's cold. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm back home, Kip is here. Taken the posters, rolled them up in this tube just so I can transport them safely. I need to photograph them now. I need to flatten them first though, so I'm gonna put some books on them, weigh them out, and then I'm gonna quickly go through them. So let's do that. These are all gonna be for sale on my website. They're also gonna be for sale on Benny Culture's website and in their store in Birmingham. If you're wanting one of these, then make sure you hit one of those channels up. If you're Birmingham based, I would really recommend going there because their shop is looking wicked. And it's gonna look even more wicked with these up. I gotta do this without Kipper chewing them. First one is Kipper the Dog poster, Kipper Dog, black acrylic, screen printed onto. It's Lambeth cartridge, A2, 130 GSM. And this next one's my, one of my favorites. It's the Ben Atheo type experiment. Again, this is black acrylic um, on Lambeth cartridge, 130 GSM. This one is Theo and Bene um, with the Druck font, DRUK. This is slightly different, it's on Heritage White 215 GSM, so a little bit thicker. One of my favourites. Um, again, measurements in description. Last but not least, in Lambeth Cartridge 130 GSM. So these are just some nice type forms that I've worked on in my sketchbook and they've come out onto digital and now they've come back to print. But yeah, super nice, kind of minimal if you like your type. That's the end of the video. Um, if you have watched it this far, I'm going to give away one of these posters. All you have to do is comment your favourite poster, which one you like. Um, that's literally it. I have such a small audience at the moment, so um, your chances of winning are pretty high. I'll ship it out to you free of charge, whatever. I will. I'll announce it on Instagram in a week's time. But yeah, all you got to do is comment down below. And um, to be honest, I feel like people would have clicked off this video by now. So very likely that you're going to win this. If you're watching this on Facebook or another platform other than YouTube, make sure to go over to YouTube, comment down below. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, like, all that stuff. See you in the next video, whenever I do one. Bye.